Okay, so we know how to um, go into these different modes and edit this thing, um, such as um, vertex mode, face mode, or edge mode, right? We could we could click on something and, and pull it up, and you see it, it deforms this plane, right? But um, adding something like eyeballs to, you know, your snowman or something like that, um, we could do that maybe by selecting the vertexes and pulling them inwards, but it's rather triangular looking and kind of harsh, right? So a good way to um, edit with um, a softer kind of look to it is to use a tool we call um, soft select, okay? And that'll be... Um, That'll be found under the selection tool. If you double click on that icon there for your mouse, double click it, um, you're gonna get a window that pops up called soft select. My computer's frozen, so um, hold up for a second and I'll get there. Okay, I'm back online. Um, so it, yeah, if I wanted to make the eyeballs of a snowman or something like that, and I pull up and it makes this triangular kind of shape that's because I'm only using I'm only moving that one vertex um, that's good in that I have that fine-grained control but it's annoying in that um, if I wanted to make a a hill um, out of this like maybe we're making some terrain or something like that and I pull up on this and I say okay that's pretty cool but now I've got to go and I've got to angle all this stuff um, in order to get it to be smooth looking, right? Um, maybe I'm, you know, making a video game landscape or something, and I'm. What? Well, that'll that'll enable the smooth mode. But um, if I go to smooth uh, smooth or soft selections rather, uh, double click on the select tool to bring up this window that has options for. Um, selection, right? So you just double click on that tool. You can actually double click on any of these tools. Um, actually, you can even double click on these shapes, double click, and it'll bring up a window that gives you options for that, okay? Uh, but under this um, selection tool settings, there's a soft selection area, right? And if we turn it on, you're going to notice a pretty drastic difference in how it selects things. So I'm going to move this to the side for a second. Um, and when you, maybe vertex mode is the most obvious. When you look at how it's selecting things, there's an, a yellow area, an orange area, and a dark red uh, that fades to black, right? And so when I select something and move it, you can see it moves the vertices um, around it as well, right? It, it, up to a point, okay? So you could select a bigger area and it would move these areas with it. Yes, if I press the smooth button, it will look nice and smooth. But uh, even just in rigid editing mode here, um, I'm able to easily kind of design my hill, if you will, um, on this, or mountains rather, but um, the soft select will make things like eyes and facial features, and whatnot, so much easier. Um, really will. Now, it's not just kind of stuck at this um, setting. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that object and retry. Um, you can adjust it under soft selection here. You can adjust the fall off radius. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you go to vertex and, um, you know, vertex mode and you're going to select an area, you can see it's, it's fading before it even hits the other sides because I made this uh, plane a little bit larger. Now under soft selection, um, whoops, you can adjust this radius. Now, let me zoom out a little bit. You guys will see that the, the heat map, if you will, increases or the area that you're selecting all at once increases so um, as I pull up on this I'm pulling up a bigger uh, selection right 
Whereas if I, if I turn it down, I'm only pulling up a little area. If I turn it way up, I'll pull up almost the whole mesh all at once. And that actually could be a, um, a mistake, right? So easily enough, you could make, I'll zoom into my grid, you could make um, an object and with soft selection on, it's easy enough to kind of select something on that object and see how the whole graph is yellow. Well, when I move it, it moves the whole thing. That's because the soft select fall off radius is large enough to encompass this whole object. So in that case, you'd have to turn it down a little bit, um, maybe about like four for this size of object to move just part of it, right? This is extremely powerful. Um, the soft selection is gonna let you uh, do some serious modeling a lot quicker than you could uh, without it. So um, if I wanted to revisit making those eyeballs now um, using you know, vertex mode and uh, adjusting my fall off radius to something that I, I like, maybe something like that, I can easily move these back in here And while they're still a little bit um, polygonal, they're nothing like they would have been, right? And uh, if you wanted to maybe make this into a face or something like that, you could uh, select multiple areas, uh, multiple vertices rather, on, on the side here and, and move that whole region in. Maybe I need a little bit bigger fall off radius. kind of squish the face, right? A um, lot easier to do it this way than it would be a lot of other ways. It's pretty cool when you get into um, soft selection, how fast you can actually make somewhat smooth shapes. Maybe I'm making an alien here. Whoa. Uh, yeah, pretty ugly alien, but one nonetheless. Yeah, so that that's soft selection. There's actually um, the best way to, to try this next part of it out is uh, to make a plane. And there's actually different um, fall off curves would be what they're, I guess, called. Um, you could even make like a stair step one. Right, so if I if I select a vertex this way, um, it will move my objects, but it'll move them a lot differently than if um, if I had it on a smooth curve. You can see I I made that arise out of nothing, and it added that stair step pattern to it. And now that was chosen um, in this window in the settings down here. Um, it was chosen on these curve presets. Okay. Uh, there's even some to make like uh, different waves. And if you really wanted to get into it, you could actually design your own fall off curves in here. Okay. That's when you're getting really into it. That's getting pretty hardcore. Um, if you have a need for it, you should use that because it'll be definitely a lot faster than any other way to do of doing things. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you what uh, that kind of looks like. It should look like, um, well, I need a bigger radius. It's good. It should look like um, kind of like a ripple or something like that. Yeah, you can better see it here. So if I wanted to make this shape, all of a sudden, um, that's really easy to do. I, I had to subdivide this surface in order to do that. So remember, that was under this button to add more polygons to it. But this is a great way to play with the fall off curves. So you can see, boom, stair steps, um, kind of a water droplet splash thing. Um, this, I'm not really sure the uh, purpose of that. And yeah, 
my personal favorite, kind of this target looking thing. So that's soft select. Uh, you really should spend some time playing with it. This stuff down here is just for the color. Okay, we could choose um, all kinds of you know different colors and whatnot for it. You could have it go go to purple if if you like that. But uh, spend some time playing with soft select because it's super cool. It's definitely the the fastest way to make uh, complex shapes while using um, just your standard polygon editing tools.